Why would it take so long for the project to be fully implemented? A much awaited legislative moment. In the fourth ordinary session, and deputies finally faced the vice president in a heated oral and answer session, engaging key national development issues. Each selected member here wants clarification and answers on how the government is dealing with the state of affairs. The funding for the bus distribution across the country and its cost. A list of all single sources contracted by the office of the president from 2017 to date as well as the status of disaster management during this year's rainy season, were among many questions forwarded to VP Jalo. His Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, informed this August Assembly the source of funding for 70 buses distributed across the country. His Excellency, the Vice President, provide an update to the August Assembly on the status of disaster management during this year's rainy season highlighting the number of people affected by the rains and the support provided by the National Disaster Agency. Responding to their questions, VP Jalot shed light on various interventions the government is taking to tackle some of the issues raised, noting the advancement of 70 buses by Social Security to GTSC. In our bid to ease public transport and to deal with the challenges associated with transport disruption, Government engaged Trans Gambia Transport Service Corporation, GTSC, to increase its coverage, including the urban areas. Therefore, Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation, being the parent company of GTSC, facilitated the procurement of 70 buses to replace the aging fleet and to increase coverage. The total cost of the project is 13 million four hundred and thirty one thousand six hundred and ninety euros inclusive of two containers of spare parts tools and special equipment issues of press freedom and the rule of law as well as the auditor's report we are not left behind with documents alleging fiscal mismanagement within national subsectors members we are keen on knowing the government commitment to the implementation of audit recommendations to combat corruption his excellency the vice president Tell this August Assembly if the government is committed to the implementation of the audit recommendations and combat corruption. Even before the final report from FPAC, when we got the audit report, I directly, immediately gave it to the Inspector General of Police and he has set up his team to, to, to do the investigation. As I know that he's already discussing with the Minister of Justice to give us the list of people that are possible for possible indictments. The Health Minister Dr. Ahmadullah Min Samate and Musa Drame, Fisheries Minister, equally took to the podium to respond to questions by deputies. Most of the MPs want to know the level of policy implementation covering critical sectors such as plans to provide clean drinking water to all communities. The Climate Smart Rural Wars Project will provide safe drinking water to the community of Kampasa in Fonyi Jarol and with the signed contract, works contract in June 2023, the system is expected to be functional by next year. Budget reports note the fishery sector's increasing challenges ranging from the degradation of habitats related to pollution and over-exploitation link to legal overfishing and illegal fishing. The member for Upper Salum wants to know the level of preparedness by the government to mitigate illegal fishing on the country's marine resources. Sittings continued on Monday, 18th December 2023. Janketure, GRTS.